The mainstream media is so full of right-wing and centrist news coverage that many of us who desire social change take to the internet to find out what's happening in the world. The Huffington Post, a so-called progressive liberal news blog that you may have heard of, was founded in 2005 by Ariana Huffington. She wanted to create a liberal counterpoint to right-wing sites such as the Drudge Report. I'm all for liberal and progressive news blogs, but the problem with HuffPo is that they're continually throwing women under the bus. The website is dripping with sexism. Progressive politics includes issues around racism and sexism, class, disability, and sexuality. According to Alexa.com, the Huffington Post is the 36th most viewed site in the US. It beats out the Wall Street Journal and the LA Times. In order to entice viewers, they use a tactic called link baiting. It's any content within a website that's designed specifically to gain attention. Link baiting is an internet marketing strategy that relies on sensationalism to bring in viewers, which then generates more ad revenue. In this case, they regularly show women's nipples, cleavage, and asses in order to entice views, and they even have a section called celebrity skin because apparently they aren't shy at all about their objectification. And let's be clear now, objectification isn't just showing women's bodies, it's using women's bodies to sell something. So in this case, they're selling real news stories, but they're bringing people in by talking about celebrity nipples and which female politician is hotter. They often have images of half-naked women next to the legitimate news stories. Or they'll feature a popular news story like the one about the proposed mosque in New York City, but they'll use a nearly full-screen image of a woman's body straddling a stripper pole. This is fundamentally an issue about racism in America, yet they're using a woman's body to gain attention. Since it's a powerful image to use as link bait, they used it repeatedly on the site over and over and over and over again. This would of course bother me in general, but I'm specifically pissed off at this site because they claim to be liberal and progressive when they're clearly not when it comes to women. They have categories like Obama, Sarah Palin, economy, housing, Glenn Beck, the war. And then they have an entertainment section with categories like celebrity skin, sex tapes, Lindsay Lohan, Jersey Shore. And these are all readily and easily available. They show up regularly on the homepage. Yet, I have to dig in order to find women's rights tucked away in the world section, which hardly ever shows up on the front page. Apparently, women's rights don't rise to the level of importance as naked celebrities. This is even more apparent on their activism section, which is also tucked away and hard to find, because the first three featured articles are of half-naked women. You can thank PETA for that one. Because of this, it's not surprising that women bloggers on the site are also treated with a similar disrespect. Although there are female and feminist bloggers on Huffington Post, they rarely get featured as news items. So if it doesn't make it to the front page or the front page of the respective sections, it's gonna get very few views because there's so much content filtering through HuffPo every day. Fairness and Accuracy and Reporting did a study that found that only 23% of featured content was written by women. I know what you're thinking. It was founded by a woman, a powerful woman. And yes, but Sarah Palin is also a powerful woman, and look at how disgraceful she is when it comes to women's rights. Just because it's female-fronted doesn't change the fact that it's structurally and institutionally excluding women from the intellectual sphere, and most often only featuring women as link bait. The popularity of this site serves to define progressive politics, and they're saying that women aren't really included in any substantial capacity. Too often, websites like the Huffington Post get to claim a progressive slant while treating women in ways that liberals would be pretty pissed off about if they saw it on Fox News. Any progressive news site worth following clearly and transparently includes race, gender, sexuality, class, and ability throughout the entire site, not just when it's convenient for their marketing strategy.